Hi everybody, we're back, and we've got a lot of good snacks to try. What up? Um, actually, they might, can you even hear us? All right, let's take these off. Uh, I don't even know if you could hear me. We've got a lot of snacks to try, and as if you couldn't tell, it is almost Halloween, which is a big deal here in America, in the United States, and, um, and a big we, deal in our house. And a big deal in our house because it's his favorite holiday. He loves Halloween. He loves decorating. He loves eating candy. Well, you like eating candy every day, yeah. but mostly around Halloween. Um, but he really loves decorating, and he's really good at it too. So we'll show you some of our decorations uh, when we get a little bit closer to the day. But in addition to it almost being Halloween, around this time of year, every year, the stores are loaded with special treats that have to do with either Halloween or autumn in general. And the biggest one of those that you're gonna see is pumpkin spice. We've got a couple of things here. This is At part least... one, because we have eight things here and we have 16 things in total, total, total. So we have eight right here and then the next video we'll have eight. Yeah, so we're gonna do this video in two parts. So we'll do the first eight now and the next eight later. Uh, I think we've got only one pumpkin spice thing here this time, um, but we've got a bunch of different things that we're gonna try. So, all right, let's get right to it. What <laughs> What are you going for first? So Kit Kat. Kit Kat, right? Um, and what is the flavor? Apple pie. Apple pie flavored Kit Kat. Now limited some, edition. Yeah, some of you guys may not know this, but Kit Kats um, have been made in hundreds of flavors, mostly in Japan, where they are a huge deal. And I think literally it's it's like seven or eight hundred different flavors that they've been made in. Um, here usually we just have what, regular, the regular one, which is milk chocolate on the outside with the wafer cookies on the inside. Or um, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate? Yeah. I think I've seen a dark chocolate one. And, and white chocolate I've seen. But other than that, I think it's pretty much just whenever there's a special edition like this. It's not like in that Japan. That sounds really good. Oh man, that does smell amazing. Split one. All right, split one, no, oh, we're no. each gonna have our yeah. own. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh. It's it does smell really good. Mm. Oh my! Mmm. That's the wow. best Kit Kat I've ever had. Mmm. <laughs> I have to say, that's really good. That's so good. Um, it's mm. it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Which, if you've been watching these videos, you know I like that. Um, it's really, the flavor is actually really subtle, don't you think? Like, like I definitely taste the apple and I taste a little tiny hint of cinnamon. And I, I feel like there was almost a little taste of vanilla in there too. And the picture on the front, you know, which you saw in the close up a minute ago, um, it, remember it showed it shows ice cream on top of the apple pie. So I almost feel like I tasted a little vanilla on top of the apple and cinnamon. Did you get the same thing? Yeah, so good. That, that is really good. If they made those in a big bag uh, of, of small ones to give out for Halloween, I would definitely get that because I think people would really like that. That was really tasty. Yeah. What are you gonna rate that? I'm gonna give that a... An eight and a half. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go even a little higher. I'm gonna give that a nine. That was really tasty. All right, yeah. should I pick out the next one? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Why don't we do Pop this? Heart. No, why don't we do this? So I these are. The best for last, real quick. The, oh, you think this is gonna be the best? Well, that's okay. We'll do it now. Yeah. All right. These are called stuffed puffs. I've never seen these before, and they are marshmallows that have something inside of them. Chocolate. So this says chocolate on chocolate, filled cocoa marshmallows made with real milk chocolate. All right, let's see. Let's see what this is all about. And the nice thing is, uh, these only had to travel from oh. the grocery store to our house. Yeah, they're heavy because there's something inside of it. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. All right. Yeah, it is a little bit hard. Hmm. Tastes like um, 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 shock. What is it called? Why is it? Why can't I think of what it's called? Hot chocolate. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it says. Mm. It's filled cocoa marshmallow, so it definitely tastes more like cocoa, aka hot chocolate, rather than like a milk chocolate or something like that. Mmm. Uh, I love that. Yeah. That's pretty good. This little marshmallow guy is holding, look at this, I'll see if mm. you can see this. I'll just see it. Here. 
He's um see he's holding that uh s'more. Hey, can I have one made more? No, you cannot have one more. We got a whole thing of the whole table of treats to do. Can't go crazy on any one of them. Fine. But we'll save these so that they don't go bad. We'll put them in a Ziploc bag or something like that. Of Man, that's really nine good. Nine and a half. Oh, it's, so, it's really good. Nine and a half? Yes. Uh, how else would you describe it? It's, um, it's like a marshmallow. But more dense. Okay. Not as, not as squishy as a regular marshmallow. Yeah. And then in the middle, there's super sweet chocolate. Uh, so good. Yeah, and, and it really is like cocoa flavored and the whole outside of the chocolate or cocoa marshmallow is like dusted with cocoa as well. Like it was not, um, you know, marshmallows can be a little, not, they're not slippery, but they're, they're a little glossy almost on the outside. This was, this was a little bit, um, not stickier, but it, like powdery. Yeah. Um, but that was really tasty. That was very good. Um, okay, what do you want to do next? Pop tarts. Pop tarts, ladies Pop. and gentlemen. We have pop tarts, and here we go. This is not pumpkin spice, but pumpkin pie flavored. Now, I, I am not a huge pumpkin pie fan. Are I've you? I've never even had pumpkin pie before. So do you think maybe you should try pumpkin pie this um, Thanksgiving? Pumpkin pie is a big Thanksgiving thing around here. Um, okay, so we're just gonna take one packet. One pop tart. Yeah, yeah. I'm not no, no. We're just gonna. We don't even need to eat the whole pop tart. Should we toast it? No. No? No. I don't want it. You don't think so? Nope. All right. So it is, uh, as you can see here, again, I'll bring it closer. Try it's um, it's frosted, and it's got little sprinkles all over it, and they're kind of autumn-colored sprinkles. And, uh, oh, it's dripping. Oh, it's okay. I'm I bumped into my chair. All right. It, it definitely smells like fall autumn spices and the things that you normally think of apple spice cinnamon all that kind of stuff what do you think yeah i don't like it um you do like it yeah it's kind of like makes your mouth so dry yeah i see what you're saying yeah, I, I mean, I can definitely taste the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Can't you? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like it. Yeah, no, no. Too much. Not too much? Yeah. I like, I, again, I like all the spices that are part of it. Like, I again, taste cinnamon and maybe even some cloves. I don't even know if you know what that tastes like. No. But I feel like I'm tasting some cloves in addition to the cinnamon. Uh, Nutmeg, probably, I would guess. The pumpkin part is the part I'm least <laughs> in love with. It's just, you know, I don't know. It tastes like a squash, you know. It's like a squashy, vegetable-y flavor. It's not something I usually like to have in a pastry. Although I don't eat a lot of Pop-Tarts. But, um, all right, what are you going to give that? I would give that a, maybe a six and a half. How about a seven? Oh, so you liked it more than me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, not Should we cleanse our palates with one of our treats. Yeah. All right, so this is a first, I think this is the first time we've tried a drink, drink. as part of our tastings, right? I think. Mm. I don't think we've ever tried a drink before. We've had drinks to, to you know, a cleanse our palates beer. before. Okay, so this was this is from Trader Joe's. This is pumpkin pie spiced ginger brew sparkling beverage. There's no alcohol. No alcohol, we double checked. We had mom check Short it just to make sure. I wasn't I being the worst dad ever. Um, so let's see, I think we gotta lift, gotta rip the label here, uh, if I even can rip help? it. No, I don't need help, thank you though. I appreciate the offer, <laughs> Mr. Strongman. Not strong. All right. Oh whoa. my! Oh, whoa, there it goes. Oh, no. It's everywhere. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need oh. to clean, we're gonna need to clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, will you go grab a paper towel? That's cute. I didn't really see that coming. <laughs> It smells good though. Yeah. It, it smells like a combination of ginger ale and with pumpkin spices. The same spices that were in the pop tart we just had. Oops! It just made a loud noise. I know. Well, it was that's the same kind of noise that champagne makes if you open up uh -oh. a bottle of champagne. Okay. Swish it around a little bit. See what the nose is like. Oh, go. Well, I'm waiting for the fizz to settle down. Yeah, just go. Yeah, I mean it. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't smell wonderful. 
because it smells only a little bit of ginger ale or ginger beer, but then with all these other spices mixed in. So let's see. Why are you drinking so much? Because I got to get a good taste for it. I, I'm really not tasting anything that's yeah. pumpkin spicy. It really oh, just no, tastes it like... Oh, just spilled all over me. <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like ginger ale to Aww. me. Like a weird kind of ginger ale. It doesn't specifically taste like pumpkin spice. Hang on, I gotta stop. You don't like it? Oh boy. Oh, all right. I gotta take a phone disgusting. Call. So you didn't like that, huh? No, that was horrible. But you like ginger ale in general, right? A little, but not too much. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Too spicy for you? Spicy. Because this was not that spicy, right? It was just kind of funky tasting. Uh, yeah. All right, what, what do you think we should do next? Gummies. Gummies. All right, what do we got here, young man? Uh, pumpkin jelly belly sour pumpkin gummies. Jelly belly sour pumpkins. Oh and they. Oh. It smells like everything else we've eaten. Everything tastes the same today. It's driving me crazy. Ah, what do you oh. think? By ah. the way, these are. Uh, you think that tastes whoa. the same and that tastes No, no, not the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat was marvelous. Oh, wait, wait, we didn't rate the drink. I'm going to mm. give that drink a. Three. A zero. <laughs> zero. Okay, so these are little like sugar dusted pumpkins. They have a little, here I'll bring it up there so you can see it up close. I ate it and it's so good. Really? Uh, can I'm you see that? I'm just gonna have one more. See that right there? A little. It doesn't little, taste little, like some, some, anything some. like pumpkin. It's just oh, like, really? great. Mm. Oh, it's sour. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it was good, but I don't know what flavor it is. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely not pumpkin flavor. Um, orange, right? Yeah, it almost tastes orange. I wonder if we could figure out. These are actually made in America, which I don't think is that common anymore. Um, uh, let's see. Well, I guess a lot of these candies and other products are made in the U.S. Okay, what do we what do we want to do next? What Let's are you save on this one. It? What? What are we rating? Oh, uh, no, I don't love sour gummies that You're much. Mean. Not uh, mean. What are you uh, gonna get? Nine. nine? Isn't that your second nine of the day? This is craziness. Yeah. Craziness. He's lost his mind. Um, oh, I think it's maybe you got some kind of uh, toxicity when you were wearing the mask, breathing your own, you know. Carbon dioxide. I think that's probably what happened. Um, I would give that a. I give that a four. So, what? I don't love sour gummies. Where are you going? You seem to be taking another one. All right, let's do this one next. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Or no? You know what? I got a better idea. Let's do this one next. So. Cheerio. This feels like a little bit of a cheat. This is <laughs> Spooky Fruit Loops. Yeah, probably just tastes like... I think it's probably going to taste exactly like regular Fruit Loops. It's just that the marshmallows look different because it's got... Oh, I just opened the bottom. <laughs> it's got... <laughs> Why did you tell me I had it upside down? It's got Spooky Marshmallows. Blah. Okay, that's good. But, but, I mean, that was kind of... I mean, it doesn't taste... I mean, it's basically... That's kind of a cheat, too, but not really. Which one? Just look for gummy. Yeah, yeah, right. But, but I mean, this, I don't think, even has any special flavor. Mm. I think it's all just regular Fruit Loops. All right. Okay, we're going to see. So, they're... Purple, or I think it's supposed to be black. Um, Putting our grubby meat hooks inside the bag. Black and orange. I'm gonna try the orange. Oh, they're black and orange? Oh, that tastes good. It's different. Yeah. They taste exactly like regular Fruit Loops, though. Yeah, I got um, the marshmallows. Mm. Fruit Loops normally does not have marshmallows. Uh -huh. That's usually a uh, yeah, Lucky Charms thing. Ghost. I got. I have a little bat. Oh, yeah. oh they're squishy. Mm. Aren't cereal marshmallows usually crunchy? That's weird. They are weird. I they like don't really. It though. They don't really taste like anything. Anything. What do they taste like? Mm-hmm. Mm, they just taste like cereal marshmallows. 
I don't think anyone in the world, including me, understood what you just said because you had a mouthful. It tastes like sheer marshmallows. Mm. I don't like them. Yeah. yeah. No, the, the cereal's good. It's normally, you know, normal Fruit Loops good, but the marshmallows just taste like sugar. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes sweet. Mm, we're about okay. to get I think I think we're I think we've had enough. Spooky fruit loops, boy. They're like chewy. Yeah, they're chewy. Um, that's fine. I'd give it a six. Seven eight. Seven eight. So you give him a seventy eight uh -huh. out of ten. Uh -huh. Wow, that's something. All right, let's chip, do chip 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 chip. Yes, chip. and then we'll end with those other guys. Okay. So what do we have here? We have apple cider vinegar chips. Apple cider vinegar chips from Kettle Brand potato chips. Um, great taste naturally. Uh, let's see if it says anything interesting back here. Nope, not really. Yeah. So, um, I think this is going to be a take on a salt and vinegar chip. Mmm, um. smells yummy. Tastes like, I, um, tastes like, um. Mm. Mm. Nice mm. and crunchy, just like I like. These mm. are really excellent. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's it's a take on a salt and vinegar chip. Less salt. More vinegar. Uh, well, the vinegar is less biting. There's definitely a fruitiness to it. You can taste that kind of apple, that hint of apple cider in there, mm -hmm. which is really good. Mmm. Tastes like the dressing mom gets at a Luminati as well. Tastes like what? The dressing mom gets her salad at Lou Malnati's. Hmm. Lou Malnati's is a pizza place near here. And his mom, my darling wife Amy, uh, she usually gets a salad from there. And the dressing tastes like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've never had it? I have, but I don't remember it. Being the, like the, a, like the start of the hmm. Mm. Well, I love kettle chips because I love how crunchy they are. I love kettle cooked chips in general. These are really good. Hey, kettle chips. You should think about making this permanently. This is a great flavor. Anything? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is one of my favorite things we've tried today. I'm gonna give this a nine. This is really good. Eight and a half. Mm. Mm. That's super tasty. Mm. All right. Is there a last thing? Which one do you want? The Frankenstein. Okay. So we have these little marshmallow guys, which you'll see in the close up. And these are made by Hyde and Eek, which is the Halloween. house brand at Target. Oh. Uh, if you're not uh, in a country that has Target stores, it's it's kind of a department store. They have clothing and little pieces of furniture and housewares, and they also have groceries and, and toys, toys and electronics. And so, it's like kind of like Walmart. If you have that, but yeah, more if you if you're familiar with Walmart, it's kind of like that concept. But um, more expensive. And they have this brand called Hide and Eek that they use to make all of their sort of um, Halloween decorations and other products. And these are little marshmallow guys. Mine's a mummy, Back. and his is a Frankenstein, Frankenstein guy. Are you having trouble with that? No, I got it. You're gonna have to rip that a little bit because it won't come apart by itself. I should I just start on mine or should I wait? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. So it looks like it's coated with some kind of, you know, like white chocolate confectionery kind of thing. Oh my, this is too good. And basically it's just a big marshmallow with googly eyes and decorating. Oh, mm. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's really sweet. Help. Okay, hold mine. Mm. Don't eat it. I said don't eat it. I said sniff it. Oh, what? Why, what? What? Why, is she, why is she chiming in? You didn't say her name. You know who she is. Oh, that whose name you cannot speak or else she'll start doing things around your house. Hi. What do you think? It's just a giant marshmallow with with some kind of confectionery coating and decoration and eyes. 
Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You love marshmallow stuff, don't you? Mm -hmm. This is like way too sweet for me. It's really cute, and so for that, I'm gonna give it a seven, but I can't eat it, it's too sweet. All right, but here's the question. Well, first of all, what is it just, is it just sweet or does it have a particular flavor? The eyes I just ate off are chocolate. Oh, really? White chocolate, and then this is probably like, just. Is it just sweet? Or does yeah, it, let me, let me taste, let me taste, I'll taste it. Let me part. taste yours. What do you mean taste? That is not a taste. Oh, this one's sweeter. Hmm? This one is sweeter than that one. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Um, so what would you rate this? See, I told you it was sweet. <laughs> Don't choke. No choking allowed. Mm. All right, what do you think? What are you gonna give that one? Better than that. Okay, but I mean, this thing in general, what are you gonna give it? Mm. Um, eight and a half. Eight and a half, wow. Yeah, I couldn't go that high. I only gave it a seven because the decorations are cute. Um, all right, so now the question I have for you is this marshmallow versus the stuffed puffs, which would win mm -hmm. the day? Yeah, this one would win for sure. These were so good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind having another one of these, but I'm not going to because it's, I just feel like I'm on total sugar overload right now. This stuff is all so sweet. That's the thing. It's like every, a lot of things say that they have spice in the name, but everything is really, really sweet. Um, I think my favorite things were the uh, apple pie Kit Kat and the apple cider vinegar um, kettle chips. What about you? I have three favorites. Three favorites, yeah. Um, hmm? Apple pie Kit Kat. Uh, uh, uh. This? Mm -hmm. The gummies. This? Oh, oh, the stuffed puffs and the jelly bellies? And this. Well, that's four things. It's like half of what we had. They can't all be your favorite. Fine. Then that, this, and that. <laughs> okay, you're not you're not limiting yourself, are you? Uh, no. All right. So um, thank you again, as always, for watching. We're gonna have a part two for the other eight things that we have that are autumn and Halloween treats. As always, I am Louie. I'm Enzo. If you enjoy this, don't forget to hit like and then hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you get notified when we do new videos. And we will see you next time. Bye.